Mother Flump was spring cleaning. She had swept and washed the floors, and now she was tidying the drawers and cupboards. I don't know, she said. Everywhere I look, I find things that should be somewhere else, and most of them are things that Perkin, Posey and Poodle thought they'd lost. Hello, Mother, said Posey. What are you doing? I'm starting a lost property box. What's a lost property box? asked Poodle. Oh, Poodle, a lost property box, not a lost properly box. You know, a box where lost things are put. That's right, and most of the things in this box belong to you three. I found them all over the place. Oh, this is a string to my yo-yo, and, and here's the yo-yo. Where did you find them? In the cupboard, next to the strawberry jam. That's a funny place to keep a yo-yo. Look, my roller skate. Where was it, Mother Flump? In the bottom of the larder, next to the flower bin. I wonder how they got there. And on the other side of the flower bin, I found some paper darts. I've been looking for them everywhere. I, I lost them ages ago. How can it fly straight with that bend in it? <coughs> See? You know, said Poodle, that box is called a lost and found box because we lose things somewhere else and find them in the box. Hello, everyone, said Father, in a quiet, whispery sort of voice. Hello, Father. You sound a bit out of sorts. What's the matter? Nothing much, really. I've got a bit of a sore throat, and I think I'm losing my voice. Have a look in the lost and found box. It might be in there. Oh, Poodle, said Posy, you can't really lose a voice. Father means that his sore throat makes it hard to talk. Yes. Oh, it's very painful too. Well, don't talk then, Father. Come on, I've got some medicine that'll make it feel better. Medicine? Oof. Grandfather had lost something too, his glasses, and he'd got himself into a fadaddle looking for them. Hello, Perkin. Have you seen my glasses, please? I can't see very well without them. I know you can't, because I'm Poodle. Careful, Grandfather. You nearly tripped over then. Oh, thank you, Poodle. I'm not Poodle, I'm Perkin. Oh, really? Why don't you sit down for a bit while we look for your glasses, Grandfather? Thank you, Per... Uh, po uh, posy. Do you think that Grandfather's glasses are in the lost and found box? No, said Posy, they're not. In fact, I can see them. Can you? Oh, yes. So can I. You can? Well, where are they then? I can see them too now. They're on your cap, Grandfather. Oh, thank goodness for that. But I haven't got my cap on. You have, said Perkin. It's back to front. So it is. 
That's better. I think I'll go out to the allotment and make up for lost time. The carrots won't get planted if I don't. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Grandfather. That's that. I've given Father his linctus. Why don't you play a game for a while? Then I can finish spring cleaning. Can we play a lost and found game? I don't see why not, said Mother. Yes, we could play um, Hunt the Thimble. That's a lost and found game. Go on, then. Here's the thimble. But don't make a mess again, will you? We won't. Perkin and I will close our eyes while you hide the thimble, said Posy. You won't cheat, will you? said Poodle. Oh, Poodle, as if we would, said Perkin. Ready, said Poodle. It won't take me long. I'm good at finding things. I'll find it in next to no time. Am I getting warm? No, you're not. Well, I expect I am. Well, you're both cold. You'll never find it. Oh, there it is, Poodle. Where? I, I can't see it. It's there, on Poodle's hat. I don't like that game. I know a better one. Let's go out into the yard and I'll show you how to play it. You cover your eyes and count to 20 while Poodle and I hide. Then you have to find us. All right, said Posy as she covered her eyes. One, two, three, four, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Coming! Now, where can they be? Where are they? Here? No. Up here? No. In here? No. Through here? No. Posy was almost ready to give up when she saw something above the wall. I can see you! I can see you! You're behind the wall! All right, Posy. Your turn next. See if you can hide from us. One, two, three... Aha, thought Posy. They'll never find me. 18, 19, 20. Right, Posy, we're coming. Oh, are we? There she is, behind that bush. Come on, Poodle, we'll surprise her. Wonder where she's really hiding. Oh, the bow's gone. There it is. No, there it is. on a piece of string all the time. It gave you a surprise, didn't it? It looked just like magic. Have you seen Grandfather? said Mother. He said he was going to do some digging in the allotment. Well, he's not there now. I've just looked. It's tea time and he's usually back in plenty of time for tea. Could you find him, please, and tell him to hurry up or he'll be late and the bread pudding will be cold? Cool, yum! Bread pudding for tea. We'll find him in no time at all. Oh, good. I'll go and lay the table then. We would like to know where Grandfather could go. We've been looking here, 
and looking there, searching high and low. Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? Where, oh, where can he be? With his flumpet, his hat and his glasses on, he's going to be late, late, late for his tea. We would like to know where Grandfather could go. We've been looking here and looking there, searching high and low. Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? Where, oh, where can he be? With his flumpet, his hat and his glasses on, he's going to be late, late, late for his tea. Perkin had always liked the idea of being a detective. We'll have to look for clues, he said. What are clues? asked Poodle. Oh, Poodle, not glues. Clues, said Posy. Things that will help us find Grandfather, like footprints or, or this. It's Grandfather's flumpet duster. That means we're on the right track. Oh! Oh, that's torn it. Torn what? said Poodle. The second clue, Grandfather's newspaper. Look carefully for the third clue, you two. I haven't found a clue yet, so I'm going to wear these to help me look. Oh, Poodle, those are Grandfather's glasses. They are the third clue. And there's the fourth clue, the flumpet. That means Grandfather must be nearby. He's never far from the flumpet. We don't have to look for the fifth clue. Listen, you can hear it. Perkin and Poodle could hear the clue, and they all knew who snored like that. That snoring is coming from the workshop. Come on! And there was Grandfather, leaning against a bench, having 40 winks. We found him. We'd better wake him and tell him that everyone's been wondering where he is. I know just the thing to wake him. Tea time! Oh, oh, tea time, is it? Well, that's a good job you told me, or you might have all been late. Come on, Mother Flump will be wondering where you are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.